We're here with Blaine the Herdman, Blaine Andrusik, and we're going to talk about wild plants, wild foods that are in your local area. We're going to talk about some specific areas in Calgary, specific plants, but really these can be found pretty much anywhere. As we teach herbology today, um, there'll be a nice mix of uh, European folklore uses, First Nation uses, uh, a few things that we've learned from Chinese medicine. You know, it, herbalism these days, for anybody I like to hang with, is, is very much international. And also multidimensional, because there's things that, just as the plant has different things to give from their leaves and their roots and their seeds and their flowers, um, we, we have things from ultra low concentration but a different form of energy when we do things like flower essences right. and, and other herbs that we have to be a little careful with because they are very valid and they're strong and anything that's uh, got a, a, an applied use medicinally also deserves some respect because if it's got enough power to fix something it could also be overused you know? yeah, so, so it absolutely. takes a bit of know-how yeah I mean and that's the other thing about a book uh, or sorry that you get not just from a book but your your experience being with you it's like you're looking at a plant and there's little like hooks of information right uh, yep. you know yep. anything in the mint family's got that that square stem and uh, yeah and I've you know I've run into hundreds of people over the years Malcolm that you know, because I've been teaching all this like th over three decades, and I hear this a lot on the street where people say, "Blaine, you know all that botany and all that chemistry and all that technical stuff." Like I, I don't remember any of that. <laughs> but if I need something, if one of my kids are injured or my wife's sick or something like that, uh, I just I remember one of your stories and I know what to do. And, right. And so we we've kind of kept that old. Um, you know, story, story, the oral tradition that before we had paper is, right. is what it always was with the First Nation people and and um, it's nice to still be a part of that. Yeah, it's something we can all relate to and like you say, it really helps anchor, anchor wisdom and knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.